The Kalunda steppe lies close to the borders of Kazakhstan in the far southwest of Siberia, a widespread plain with extremely dry continental climate conditions. In the 1950s, the Soviets converted about 420,000 square kilometers of natural grassland and old fallow land to cropland to feed the republic. But in the last decades, yields have been declining year by year due to low fertility and drought. After 60 years uh, land use in this region, we have a widespread of soil degradation phenomena, especially wind erosion. And uh, another point of our interest is the decrease of soil carbon and humus in these soils. Approximately 50% more or less of this agriculture lands are degraded. Martin Luther University in Halle Wittenberg in Germany. Here, Professor Manfred Fruauf and Dr. Melada Kasajian coordinate an international and interdisciplinary team of experts and Russian stakeholders. The team is trying to understand and tackle the challenges in the Kalunda region. On average, it rains only three or four times per year, and these degraded soils cannot store water, which is crucial for agriculture in this semi-arid region. The topsoil, which contains important nutrients, is simply blown away. Yields have been declining for decades. Industrial agriculture is reaching its end. More consequences follow. Younger people are already moving out of the region. A general turnaround in land management is inevitable. The aim of the experts is to naturally enrich this soil with two effects, more fertility and more capacity to store carbon dioxide. If uh, we increase the humus content in the soil, then automatically we increase also the capacity of the soil to have better sequestration of the carbon. The more carbon dioxide is dumped, the better for the climate worldwide. To show this, the scientists evaluated the soils and organized a joint project with local farmers and a German manufacturer of agricultural machinery. In 2011, they conducted trials on several test fields, no plowing, crop rotation, direct seeding, that led to a surprising increase in productivity on the basis of sustainability. They have increasing of yield approximately on this fields from 20 to 25 percent. This might be a promising success story for the whole region. If the yields are increased, then uh, this will already contribute to the regional and rural development. And the people will have as well more motivation to do further agricultural production. By addressing the legacy of Soviet-era mismanagement, Projects like Kalunda give the region not only a chance to be Russia's breadbasket again, but also, and at the same time, to play a positive role in the worldwide effort of mitigating the effect of climate change.